Hello! That was Arms Dealer by Anno Domini Beats. I'm Notorious BLT. We're going to be playing some Total Warhammer, as I'm sure you are all aware. Hello. Uh, we're going to be playing Grom the Paunch. Because he has the greatest paunch of anyone. We're also raising money for the Bail Project, if you didn't know. Uh, if you do want to donate, there's a link down below the stream, in the stream panels. Big thing that says Bail Project. And you can... Oh, there it is! Hey, Kurai, how you doing? Uh, so you can click on a big thing that says Bail Project, and it'll allow you to donate. Um, like, it'll bring you directly to the donation page. I'm actually thinking I do want to head up here and ruin these elves. No. I mean, it is Teclas. He's he's right there. That he's right there. I'll crush them all. You have a wyvern, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have one or two armies break off and go back and defend a little. You two should be fine to just steamroll whatever the hell's out here. So how you doing tonight, Gurai? <laughs> Who will be the next addition to the cookpot? Hopefully the elves. That's, that's my hope. That's my honest-to-God hope. Or honest-to-Gork-and-Mork to hope. How you doing tonight, Tailport? Um, eh. I mean... L let's just start heading this way. I mean, like, what's the what's the worst that's gonna happen, right? Oh, more elves showed up. Okay. Well then. Hey, Moon! How are you? Oh, right, there was a, a freaking uh, a beastie boy over here. Not not like one of the beastie boys, but a boy that is a beast. Ooh, wait, what holiday is what holiday is this Friday? <laughs> this is, I'm, now I'm thinking, like, do I have that day off? So an attempt at Wintertooth uh, and is currently trying to defeat the Amp. Oh, boy. I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Obser oh, observing the fourth. I'm going to have to check if that's how our calendar is set up or if it's Monday. Hey, Salty, what's up, man? All right, we got a lot of dudes up this way that are itching for a fight. Um, I took this, right. We took Ketza. Itza. Itza pizza. Needs a slapping. You guys are going to sit here for, for a hot minute and replenish. Uh, the rest of y'all are going to motorboat down this way. And we're going to we're gonna get some stomping done. <laughs> You're here and you don't have a BLT. What have you done? This is a travesty, sir. You must immediately fix this. I mean, you are. So go that way. And then you're going to sit in Ketza. <laughs> I love that emote so much. Oh my god, it's so wonderful. Right, you're just gonna you're you're gonna sit. You're basically just your job is to sit here and kill things that annoy me. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Oh my god. Girl, I, I love how you basically took the photo that I took on my phone and turned it exactly into an emote. Like, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Alright, Mugga Backstabba, you're not doing anything this turn. Um, I mean, we're just gonna, like, look around and find things. Ex yes! The turnaround is so good. So I did make um, the uh, the Onion Shark one tier two because um, I figured that what probably makes the most sense is to have things that people who like people who aren't in on the the inside joke um, can look at and say, yeah, that's cool, and I want that. Uh, and so for now, it's going to be tier two. But once we get the next uh, emote slot, then it's going to get moved back down into tier one. Uh, I really wish I could just have like. A bunch of emotes and not care about the tiers. <laughs> like, I wish I could just put those two tiers to tier one and not worry about a tier two emote or a tier three. I would just like the extra slots for more stuff. Um, 
Let's do this so we can get more shaman. Okay, I have spent a lot of money. Why can't I do this one? Ah, because it's 10,000. That makes a lot of sense. Being that I don't actually have that much money right now. All right, that 50,000 goes very quickly, I have to say. It goes oh so very quickly. So, uh, Kurai, you and I and Moon will have to set up a, uh, a date to play uh, Monster Prom, because damn. Wait, how long until we start starving? I don't remember if it actually shows us here. I thought it did. I don't remember how long it takes for attrition to really start hitting. But I'm hoping we can make it over here soon enough to thwart their siege. Unless they actually come at us like right now and then we're going to be kind of hosed. You assaulted the Night Forest Garrison. All right. What is it? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. There's chaos shenanigans happening because of you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. What you thinking? You want a peace tree? I'm down because you'll give me money, and then my ally is going to be like, "No, fight him," and I'll be like, "Sure." Unless my ally isn't going to say that. He didn't. All right. No, no, no. I don't want that. I'll give you I'll give you the money, I don't care. Alright, y'all gotta get in here super fast. <sighs> okay. You I just I could swear there was a thing in here that told you how long you've got before the shit starts happening. I could swear there was. Shit. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta get in there anyway. So, um, you, all right, come here and support Thagrot or Th Thograt Thograt in attacking this place, please. The defenses are pitiful. So we will just auto resolve. Yeah, just take it. All right, Kreta Stumpy. Let's see if you can get more. More gorks. What is... Minus two wins of magic for here we go. Let's do it. That's some good stuff. Alright, Kurai. You are six levels away from getting a wyvern. Let's give you some more armor. And Thograt... So, uh, what are you all up to tonight? Smash them faster. Wait, did you not? Am I crazy? Oh, you didn't level. It's it's your your little buddy here. Yeah, let's do cleanse corruption. I don't I don't really want stinky chaos garbage around. All right, fortify that. And then I'm going to have you move. Hmm. Let's go up along the river. Jam Fresher, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm the best. You are the best. Okay. And we got people over here. Send me to battle. Fighting soon. Goblin King. All right, we want you to do regular movement. We don't want you to do super fast movements. All right, and then Grom. We're going to jump on Itza Pizza. White lands of... Oh, my God. Why, why, why are your defenses so pitiful? I'm just curious, like, what does this even look like? Okay, it's a three-entrance three, three entrance city. I mean, like, 
if they had defenses that were worth a damn, I would actually fight the battle, but like... You know, as it is, all I would do is just select all right-click. Oh, Gorguts. You're so close, brother. You're so close. Uh, let's give you Dodgy Geezer. My god. My god. I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Just, uh, you know, giving these elves and dwarves and other critters the stompins that they deserve. Uh, I want to upgrade this to tier 3. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the Empire! Okay, that's kind of nice that we have Empire sitting around up here. Because don't I have to do something to, to the Empire at some point? Or did I already do that? No, we got to find the Norska. we got to find the Norska. Okay. I think the other thing we might do is try to... Like, we're probably going to start cooking again soon. Because I believe we're really going to want uh, some stuff that's good against large. Let's do winged ammunition. I don't know how that works with a giant rock, but we'll do it. I'm here for it. That speed, though. But that weapon strength, though. That's going to make your charges even more devastating. Shit. All right. Well, we got we got to wait for the rest of this. Okay. Heroes. You haven't moved, and that's fine. You can just sit and not move. <laughs> All right, let's get you to land. You're gonna you're gonna sit there again because basically you're waiting for the hag merchant to show up. So I did also change some of the uh, the no like the sound notifications. Um, so I changed, what was it? I added a raid one, and then I changed the, uh, the sub notification sound to something that I'm hoping will at least seem slightly familiar. Critical failure. That makes me very happy. All right, so you're just going to go around raiding everything. That's fine with me. Can I select you? Thank you. Okay, we gotta go underways. Where is the border? Right there. I just want to make sure that these guys are not going to get intercepted in the underways. Although, these smelly elves might come over here and be like, Hmm, we're assaulting you in the underways, but I'm not too worried. Uh... Hmm... Actually, do I want to go through here? No, I think we want to... I think I made a mistake by doing this. I think what we want to do is go this way. Yeah, yeah. Can I upgrade you, goblins? I can. I'm going to make you more defendy. Okay, and then we're done. <laughs> With making that one unit slightly more defendy. All right, hinder your replenishment, please. What the f That's a lot of big stuff. This scares me. Two Dread Saurians scares me a lot. These things do not screw around. Do I have, do I have biggins? Ready for bossing. Uh, no, well, no. Do I have an Arachnorock spider? N yes, I have two. Okay, I am less scared now. Also, we have Boar Boy Biggins, which is great. And then we have all the ex Explody Boys. Uh, so, let's see. You are... Right, you're... All campaign map stuff. Okay, so Squigs will destroy these, without a doubt. Um, these a little less so. So, really, our... Big stuff is going to be slightly overtaxed if I fight that. But that's fine. That's fine. Because we also have, like, a shitload of dudes. Oh, 
world's gonna be drums. Big as an orc. Lady. Yeah, give me some Raiden. Do, do some Raiden. Do some Raiden. All right, all right, all right. All right, you're you're sitting. You're sitting. Okay, we still got we got a bunch of money, right? So let's take a look here. Why can't they upgrade this? I thought it wasn't able to upgrade this. Like, but maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was something else. You, you were the one. Okay. How about you? Yeah, you get upgraded. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think we're just going to save the rest. Okay, okay. Oh, Oscar, what's up, man? How are you doing? My day's been okay. How about you? Currently just uh, waiting for... Oh, you're breaking the siege, I see. Are we getting scared? Just uh, waiting for my, my car to come back from uh, inspection. I don't want to say it failed miserably, but it did fail. <laughs> oh, you sacked it. Oh no, you sacked one of your own settlements. What am I going to do? Aside from laugh, because you sacked one of your own settlements. Uh, what is this? Rating. Oh, good, he failed. Hey, Cap, what's up, dude? Sent by the fact that a Gatling gun with a dinner plate, or with a dinner plate, couldn't penetrate the side of a T-55. What? It, explain yourself, sir. I, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by a Gatling gun with a dinner plate. Oh, or are you coming to defend your stinky place over here? It's too bad you're going to be too late. All right, Salty, get over here. Pitiful. What's the goal of this game? Never seen this before. So, um, this is Total War Warhammer. It is, uh, it takes place in the Warhammer universe. Um, and the goal depends on the legendary lord that you're playing. So, like, every single faction has what's called a legendary lord. The one that I have, and it's basically like a character from the world, the one that I'm playing currently is Grom the Paunch, who is a goblin that is humongous because he eats way too much. Or some might say just enough, or the right amount. Um, you can't wait to... Oh! Yeah, I, I, I had I just had to give Drought a break because that level was pissing me off so bad. <laughs> self propelled anti-air for American Tier 5, just a Vulcan, fancy name for Gatling gun with a passive radar. See, okay, I understand Vulcan cannon. I understand Vulcan cannon because that's, uh, that's what the Warthog has, if I remember right. The A-10. Um, so our goal for this particular campaign is to assault this high elf city and destroy it um now you may say but you're so far away you're correct uh the reason we're so far away is because we had other things that we wanted to do that will help us in our end goals um things such as uh so the character that we're playing as can cook food for himself and his boys and uh gives you a bunch of buffs and part of our mission is essentially we have to have, I think it's 12 recipes unlocked before we can assault, before we can make the final assault. In order to get those recipes, we have to have different ingredients. And to get those ingredients, we got to mess with a bunch of dudes. And so I came here specifically to murder the crap out of the dwarves. And then the dwarves were like, ah, but we're allied with the elves and the lizard men. And so basically I came here and started war with an entire continent. <laughs> and I'm actually very happy about it because, like, that's just how green skins are, man. We, we want we want war. We want to fight. We want to get stuck in and beat the crap out of stuff. It is it is our way. What if you wipe out the high elves before you get the last few recipes? 
I hadn't thought of that, but now I'm like, I should try that because it'd be hilarious. Um, so, uh, JF, if you've played any Total War games before, this game is similar in a lot of ways, but also different in a lot of ways. It, it's similar in the kind of like overall um, campaign, but the actual like combat and stuff tends to be fairly different. And I don't mean like the... Actually, that's not exactly true, but um, how can I put it? There's a lot of similarities, but there's also a ton of differences, I guess is the, the way that I would put it. Okay, you have tried to run, and now you will pay the price. You smelly elf. This is why you don't mess with the Wa. Because now you're going to have to deal with three armies at once, all coming from different sides. You can't move past my armies, you scum! What the hell is this? What is this? All right, fine. You're gonna have to deal with two armies at once, you piece of garbage. The most similar so far is the Three Kingdoms when running, uh, and forget the uh, the name mod. So, oh, 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 oh I see you're saying like, uh, hmm. You guys already have Strider, don't you? You do. Do you have Strider? No. Do you? No. You have a bunch of big... Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to fight this 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 battle because I think it's hilarious. Uh, and also because I'm very curious. You can't besiege the city of Tori of Rest until you finish 12 recipes, so I don't think you can defeat them first. Ah. Well, poopy. All right, you have regeneration, poison attacks. You have stock. That's fine. You have armor piercing and poisonous attacks. And... Fiery attacks? Fiery poisonous attack? Oh, okay, I see. Your melee attacks are poisonous. And your missile attacks are... Fiery rather than poisonous. Got it. Okay, and then you have the explodey thing. I think I'm going to put this on one of the other Night Goblin units. Alright, let's save. It's the thing is, like, I want to I wanna know how it is that I, you know, should deal with these very large, annoying scumbags. Okay. So, armor-piercing breath is my guess. Let's see, weapon strength. Yeah, it's a lot of armor-piercing damage. Holy shit. Scaly skin, so you're very armored. All right. You know what? That's fine. Let's just take a look at the terrain. <laughs> All right. Do I have artillery? That's a, that's a good question. Yes, I do. I have a lot of art. I forgot how much shit I have. Because of the WA. I forgot exactly how much shit I have because of the WA. Oh, right, right, right. I seem to recall that being in Medieval Total War, where the, uh, the generals have... Um, God, that is a lot of boys. <laughs> Where the generals have a retinue with them. Like, and, and usually it's a bunch of knights. I, I forget what kind of knights they were, but, you know, heavy shot cavalry, that kind of thing. Well, at least the heavy kind of shot cavalry for the early game. Not necessarily for the whole thing. Ugh. <sighs> I'm just not really sure how to deal with these phoenixes. I almost called them by the name that we use in Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> How to deal with the Pahoinixes. Because if they're just, like, flying around, we're probably just going to have to use our Spider Boys to, to knock them out of the sky. And I'm guessing they are fire-resistant, being Phoenixes. Uh, God, this is a lot of big, very nasty stuff.
So really, you're just like a ton of spears, huh? New toy shooty bodyguard? That sounds, uh, kind of ridiculous. Alright, so let's see. You have... Well, is that is that a phoenix? That, that looks like a phoenix. Okay. So you got a flying turkey. Who actually... Okay, that thing actually looks kind of neat. Because it doesn't look like, I think, your typical phoenix. It looks more like a weird hummingbird, almost. Oh, okay, that's right. It is all right. Yeah, you you are talking like uh, old Asian stuff. So having the having firearms makes sense since they got them way before Europeans did. Um, you got a lot of health. Well, actually, you don't have like a ton of health. Damage enemies from below with a special attack. All right, you got it. Lutheran Sea Guard. Just like whatever. All right, spear boys. Okay, white lines of charts. Right, your armor piercing. Your line cloak gives you what? Like physical resistance. Okay, so you have you have missile resistance basically. All right. Uh, and then what is this? Sisters of Avalorn. These melee combatant bows of. Oh, right. You're the shooty assholes with your magical fire attacks. And there's this uh, hot trash. All right. So uh, really, it's going to be send in the infantry. Do you have... Oh, you have the foot. Oh, you have the foot. How wonderful it is to know that you have the foot. Uh, let us group you. Let's move back. Alright. You're fanatics. You're fanatics. You're fanatics. And you're... F no, wait. Are you fanatics? No, you're not. You're just archers. Okay, that's fine. But you also have poisonous attacks and your armor sundering. Got it. I don't want to deploy things too far forward. Or do I? These sisters of Avalorn are gonna fuck me up if I do. I think we want. Well, you guys stalk, so you're you're nice and stealthy. I don't really want you as a front line, but still, that's kind of what we're what you're here for, right? God damn it! All right, Spooters. I think I'm gonna want you guys to come around the side because I think they don't they also have uh, a. Yeah, they've got artillery. They've got the bolt throwers. Um, so ideally, I'd like to kind of get through this as quickly as we can. So let's actually put the spider riders inside the forest. And hopefully that conceals them. Conceals all but one. Which one? You? Man, I would have thought you would have been concealed, considering that you're, like, the heaviest in the forest. All right, squiggies. Squiggy, squiggy, squiggy. I think the squigs are going to go down that way as well. Um, and then the arachnorok spiders... I think we're also going to send them down this way, along with the Hydra. And... The Shooty Spiders. Alright, that works. Uh, okay. Shaman, you're going to be over here. I, honestly, Ragnick, you can just be over here as well. That's fine with me. All right, let's start this shit. Okay. So we got reinforcements showing up. That's great. That's great. Um, you boys just need to get in here and kill this. Uh, and then shooty spiders, I want you to come over here and shoot that. God, that is a lot of shit that's coming in. <laughs> it's just a ridiculous amount of stuff. Squigs, I know that these things are anti-large, but you gotta get in there and do your job, which is essentially to take a lot of damage and maybe die. Uh, and then you boys are gonna come up this way and go right there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for most of this stuff to show up, and then we're gonna send it off to do the thing. What the hell was that? I mean, you're trying real hard. I gotta give you props for that. What is this? A giant eagle. No, no, don't, don't, don't get caught up on this garbage. Get, get around, get around, get around, get around. Go get him. Go get that thing. Go kill it. 
And also keep firing your explosive shots because they're hilarious that you have exploding arrows. <laughs> because Grom is so fat. Oh, our general with a wyvern. Oh, good. Wait, what? Okay, I want you guys to group. Okay. I would like for you to come down here and, I don't know, kill this. Where's their, where's their artillery? Did we did we get the artillery? Is the artillery running away? It is. Oh, good. Or at least it's getting wrecked. That's, that's good. That's, that's fine with me. Uh, now, all this. What is this? Just boys? Okay. You're also going to group. And then you're just going to run in here and... I, I, I'm not going to bother moving you in a formation. You're just going to get in there and cause all kinds of havoc. I love that your arrows explode. This makes me so unreasonably happy. You know what? Shoot into the Sea Guard. They deserve it. Yeah, the Squigs are already getting in there and doing some damage. They might take some casualties. Actually, they're probably going to take a lot of casualties, but that's all right. All right. Fire Breath. Let's, uh, let's give somebody some Fire Breath. Like you. You deserve some Fire Breath. Overcast that shit and just fucking wreck this. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here comes the foot. Ooh, it's so delicious. <laughs> I love it so much. Alright, have a good night, JF. Okay, this dragon is super humped. I don't even know what's going on over here, but I'm sure it's very bad for whoever's on the receiving end. <laughs> oh my god. I don't care who's running. It's probably the spider riders. It's most certainly the spider riders. I think we lost a lot of squigs, but that's alright. We can we can always recruit them again. It's not a big deal. Can you, like, get into combat, please? Fight that. Fight it. Wait, Shaman, can you cast... Oh, you can cast the foot again. You're basically going to be casting it on yourself. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes, baby. Ooh. <laughs> that unit of sisters is just toast. Oh, give us a wah, give us a wah. I don't see a reason not to. The foot. The foot. Alright, you guys just chill. You're you've got you got kind of fucked. Oh, the shaman is like near death. Alright, you should get out of there, brother. Um Yeah, give him a nice give him a nice big uh, debuff. Is <laughs> their their freaking fire chicken is running, dude? Oh, the black works. Where you at? I, I can't even tell what's going on in here. It's just it's so gross. Oh, you're you're way back here. Okay, so our war boss is actually getting kind of fucked. How about you uh you get the fuck out? I don't know what the hell. Oh, you're getting shot by the dudes. Go get him. Yeah, shoot that bird. Actually, you know what? Don't shoot that bird, because you're going to be shooting into your boys. Yay, we win. <laughs> Scuba Steve, what's up, man? Gork is best, indeed. Gork is undoubtedly the best. Mork is also excellent. Named at Git. Oh, no. Let's see. Owen shall be spider... Shall be spider name? Okay. All right, so wait, uh, Oscar. Wait, phase. 
Oh. <laughs> so, uh, Oscar, which which spider do you want? We've got one of the spider rider units, or um, we've also got uh, there's like a big lava spider, and then there's a big not lava spider. <laughs> yeah, which one? Oh, yes, the one with the purple highlights is definitely good for face. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I feel you, Scuba. So I, um, I actually used to work for Games Workshop a long time ago. Uh, the, okay, the big not lava spider, gotcha. Um... And uh, the first army that I ever played when I played uh, Warhammer 40k, because 40k was the first one that I played, um, and uh, I played Tyranids, and then I picked up Chaos Marines, and then I got to play Orcs, and it was all over. Like, my, my love of Orcs started then, and uh, when I started playing Fantasy, I picked up Greenskins first, and it's been downhill ever since, man. Like, I, I can't not play the Greenskins. They are, without a doubt, my favorite, because they're just... They're so much fun. Like... No other army takes itself not seriously. Or it, 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 like, every other army to me takes themselves way too seriously, whereas the orcs are just like, we put goblins in a big slingshot and then fire them. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's just wonderful, and I love it. Like, who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love a faction that will put their own soldiers into a catapult and fling them at people? Also, the Orc and Goblin Magic Table from 6th Edition Fantasy was the best. The <laughs> okay, that's fair. But they also, like, hop them up on Magic Mushrooms, so I don't think they care quite as much. Oh yeah, exactly. Losing feels less bad when your troops are goofy as hell. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I liked 6th. I, I heard other stuff about 7th, and I think now they're up to 8th or 9th. Um, but some of it, when I heard it, I was like, man, that's just... Maybe it's just the, the not liking change part of me, but I, I was just like, nah, dude, I can't. I can't with that. Like, what was it? They, they allow people to make uh, attacks when they're, like, 3 ranks deep or something. Except if you're Spears, and then it's, like, 5 ranks, and I'm just like, holy shit, dude. Like, that's just, that's just madness. You should not get to run again. You ran from me in the first place. Are you dead? You should be if you're not. Oh, good. You were killed in battle. Wonderful. That makes me very happy. New additions making you scared to hop in. I, I, can, I can understand that, man. It, it, Warhammer can be very intimidating, especially with the number of units you end up needing. Uh, oh, you're so close. I want it so bad. Uh, thing is, like, I don't even remember what half the shit you have does. <laughs> so we're just going to get Arcane Conduit and be happy with that. Uh, and then our other Shaman, who is an orc, who thankfully has the best spell in the game. Um, and actually, uh, so, Scuba, to, when I was playing the tabletop, uh, long, long ago, um, I had a buddy who was playing Corn, and, uh, he was talking shit about how like ineffective magic was against his stuff and so i brought a night goblin army and uh i'm sure you can imagine exactly how how uh how that went for him <laughs> but to give you an idea i think i i rolled a six on the miscast table like five or six times and so and that was when i was casting foot of gork yeah Irresistible casting that spell that many times, he lost a lot of Chaos Knights. <laughs> he lost a holy shitload of Chaos Knights. Also, all the... Exactly, Stompy, Stompy, Stompy. And, and also, I mean, it probably didn't help that, like, you know, there's all the fanatics running around. Should I... You know, eh, might as well repair it. Why not? Exactly, throw enough mud at the wall. That and, uh, I want to say there was like there was a an upgrade you could do for some for your your night goblin units that had fanatics uh, that made the fanatic impact hits like three d six 
hits instead of two. And I, I'm pretty sure I also had that because, like, if you're against Chaos and they can't help but charge you, why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> you know, like, you can't help but charge into my units, so uh, have fun evaporating before you get close enough to actually do any harm. What What is this? What are you doing? You actually coming over here to fight me? Yeah, the madcaps. Exactly, exactly. Uh, do we need... Okay, we don't, we don't need to make a thing just yet. Do we have any quests for... No, we don't. Okay, so... Raise or sack ten different settlements belonging to the... Right, I have to raise or sack their settlements. Got it. Um, so, any further high elf settlements we get to, we should raise or sack. I'm probably going to sack... Yeah, I'm probably going to sack them for the most part. It's, it's techless. Oh, it's techless. Techless. Meet Grom. He's the guy that's going to eat you. Unless you run away, as I'm sure you're going to. Because you're a coward. Uh, come on, you're going to fight me. Oh, you're going to run away. You're going to go to Guacmole Crater, huh? Skyling Gate. Looking to get yourself eaten. I'm sorry. You want a peace treaty? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, actually, let, let's give them a counter offer. Let's ask for an exorbitant amount of money. Oh, I can't, I can't actually ask for any more. Okay. I mean, I was just going to break it anyway. If you said yes, I was just going to break it. Okay. This I will actually take until I break it momentarily. Because I've got bigger things... Well, I've got more annoying things to worry about than Dark Elves. Mark my words, though. We're coming for him. Later, we're coming for him. I, oh, oh, oh! I have to rename the spider. I don't... I don't care about the Vortex. I do not care about the Vortex. It's just a big swirly thing. I don't care. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. If, if I think, yeah, okay. So, the two territories that I burned to the ground, now the Empire's coming in and taking them. That's, that's actually amazing. Okay, so, uh, Big Spooter, where you at? I believe that was... Ratnik? Yes. Big Spooter. Rename. Oh, and the Arachnorok Spider. <laughs> There's something that's, like, just ridiculously funny about a giant, horrible spider named Owen. What is this? Oh, you're coming to fight, are you? Exactly. They generate their own. They generate their own by being awesome. All right, let's get the hell out of here, since the High Elves have retreated, as they are wont to do. Are you going to go for this? I think you are. Alright, Kurai. It's time to defend. Skaven would like to talk to you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, th that's also true. I forget that they also... Although, like, I forget why it is that they want to control the Vortex. Oh, right. They want to control the Vortex so they could summon... So they could summon the, uh... Uh, the, the big old Rat Lord. Whose name I can't remember. Like, the, the Rat Lord. Not just a Rat Lord. Like, the big one. The Horned Rat. For a second, I thought those were thumbs up. Uh, 
Alright, Teclas. You ready to get attacked? And stepped on? Are you into that? No kink shaming. Hmm. <laughs> oh, poop. Alright, well, you guys are getting close enough anyway. Alright, eat some pizza. Let's upgrade your defenses and then also upgrade your gold mines or whatever that is. I really should just start making more armies. Right? Oh, no, no. I do want you to do stuff. Um. Who is this? The Great Horned Rat, yes. Excellent. Good. Keep uh, keep getting yourself some XP there, buddy. Okay, any other upgrades for us? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so some time ago we did also play a uh, uh, Clan Scryer game. Yeah, exactly. Any race that takes itself less seriously is is a good thing in my book. That, that's why, like, and I, you know, real talk, I feign hatred of the elves, but I don't actually hate them. I just don't really care for their their play style. Except for Wood Elves. I actually hate Wood Elves. Wood Elves can can go to a very uncomfortable place and expire, in my opinion. What the actual fuck is all of this shit? Okay. I'm sorry, what? The Dread Saurian has poisonous ranged attacks. Hmm. Oh god, you've also got a freaking feral Karna what's its Uh Alright, Kurai. How am I gonna handle this with you? And Thograt. Well, let's save. Let's take a look at the terrain. Okay, we start in a fairly wooded area. And what I think we're probably going to want to do is draw the enemy up to here and then have some forces hiding in the the forest here and here to kind of swing around and then hit them from the rear. I don't... Let's see, how fast are you? They're likely to try to keep pace with the rest of the army. They're probably not going to try to get too far ahead. With explosions, <laughs> indeed. How, how could I? How could I be so foolish as to as to as to ask that question? You guys don't. You do cause terror. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, you also have a slan. What you call it? Do you have any other? Are, wait, are you a priest or are you a chief? Okay, you're a chief. We do have at least we have one orc shaman who I know has the foot. I think really what's gonna what this is gonna be down to is lots and lots and lots of debuffs. And we're gonna want these guys to pile into one spot. So anything that I can just kind of and you know what? I think we're also gonna want Yeah. We're going to want our rogue idols to just wade in. Our Ragnarok spider should also be pretty good at killing these big critters. God, that is just so much health. Okay, let's stop talking let's go. Easy, just use Doom Rocket. <laughs> if only it were that easy. But the Doom Rocket 
isn't good against big stuff. It's only good against infantry. That that really does make a Claw's army like the most insane army in all of Skavendom for for this game anyway. Those doom rockets are ridiculous. There are some chameleon skinks. There's not like a... Well, okay. For range attacks, they do have some of these salamanders. And, of course, they've also... Oh God, they've got so many big monsters. Truth be told, that's one of the only things that actually scares me in all of this. Like, the, the Soros Warriors, I'm not scared of. The Temple Guard, I'm not scared of. It's all the big stuff that I'm scared of. I You know what? I actually need to look at the Super Squigs and see if they are anti-everything or just anti-infantry? I think they're just anti-infantry. If they're anti-everything, they're going after the big shit. Actually, no. You know what? They should still go after the, the infantry units. Okay, Super Squigs. You are anti-infantry. Alright. Please. My icons, they are very sick. Squigs go boom. Okay. Yeah, that, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. We're not the, no, we're not gambling with that. Are you crazy? <laughs> All right, Super Squigs. We do have Doom Divers, which is also nice. Um, okay, enemy reinfor reinforcements are coming in from there. Our reinforcements... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, you know... You know... You know what I might want to do is just intercept the shit that's coming out of here as soon as possible. This is actually changing my game plan a lot. You guys hide for now. Um, Doom Divers, I think that you're going to be good. Do we have a... We don't really have too much of an elevation anywhere, huh? Doom Divers, let's just line you up here, and you guys can just lob garbage at them. Um... I think we're just gonna do exactly that, and all of our big shit is just gonna intercept right off the bat with our shaman and our Kurai war boss uh, getting ready to frickin' destroy anything that comes through. Let's line you guys up over here, and then we will have our wolf riders go in for the harassment. And to keep them kind of a little bit busier, you know what I mean? Okay, do we have anybody that's kind of sitting out doing nothing? You guys are going to launch goblins at people. Actually, I'm kind of thinking maybe I want you over here. Yeah, let's put you over here. That way you're with the rest of the forces. Super Squigs, you're going to stay back for now. And I just have to remember to use you when the time comes. Let's group you up. Yeah, we're just going to plow through all this shit the moment it shows up. And you guys are what? You just bonus damage? Is what your upgrade was? Yeah, you guys were just bonus damage. Uh, and you were bonus damage versus large, I think. Or bonus attack versus large? One of those two. Right, you don't spawn spiders, you explode. Which was good against infantry? Most effective when surrounded. Good to know. Alright. I have to remember, your range attacks are explosive. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. Is it, wait, is that the Slon that I just saw somewhere? No. I know you guys aren't great against large, but that's okay. Actually, wait to use that. Wait to use that. You know what? Regular boar boys. Okay. 
All right. I know we've got stuff coming in. What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Okay. So what do we have here? Just a whole buttload of boys. All right. Um... Okay, goblins, why don't you line up over here? Boys, line up just behind, I think, so we can make a second wave. Uh, and then this, what, where, oh god, this is all coming in from the other side, huh? I don't know if this is really going to do anything against a Dread Saurian, but we can certainly try. Uh, you know what? Go get them, boys. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, and then we had that might actually be a really good spot for some of our super squigs. It could also just be a really good spot for a foot that is of Gork, if you didn't know. Uh. That's like a lot of shit all clumped up together. And this is not going to hurt the spider at all. Or really, like, even a little bit. Uh, so I think that that's, that's a good way to go. Are you still in the process of detonating? No. What, what is this? Oh, somebody's casting a spell on you. I see. Cry, go and charge these fools. Oh, 500 lads. Absolutely. I put my money on the boys every time. Are you large creatures? If so, I want to fight you. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the foot, dude? Did the foot go off? It did! Okay, okay. That's a singular... This is a... No, this is also a singular. Um, okay. Wait, did I charge... Oh, I did. I did charge them in. Okay, why don't you guys come on back and murder that. Um, man, this is going to get real hairy real fast. All right, super squigs. Hit him with the explosions, boys. Confused. The lava Ragnarok is getting wrecked. Oh fuck, that's no bueno. Okay, do we have the foot again? No. Are those? Oh well, there's very large creatures in here. Makes a lot of sense, I suppose. You guys can't actually be afraid, so that's good. Okay, the hatchlings are getting wrecked. That's that's not a big deal to me. Oh, okay, that's the Doom Divers. That that makes a bunch of sense, in my opinion. What is this? Cold One Spear Riders. That's not great. Why don't you go over there? And then you two can come out over here. And explode some more boys. How is this even going over here? Probably not great. God, this Saurian garbage. I, I hate these things. <laughs> I 
The weak against armor is going to hurt us. I'm not going to bother with that. All right. It appears that all the super squigs are toast. This is not going super great, I gotta say. I mean, this spider is doing some good work. Let's come over here and shoot that. This is so ridiculous. Mm, that's not going to help me. Um, where's headbutt? I know it's weak against armor, but I think that's really all we got right now. Yeah, it, it's true. They do have very few weaknesses. What is this? Doom Diver Catapult. Well, you're not really doing much of anything, so uh, why don't you get in there, huh? Alright, thankfully, when you start falling apart, it's going to cause some problems for the enemy. God, this is just absolute chaos. How is this over here? Oh, good. Whatever. The, oh, the Dread Saurian's running away. What about this? Oh, it's another Dread Saurian. Who knew? Who knew that would be a thing, right? So we just got tons of goblin archers. Hopefully they'll just saturate these fuckers with explosives. I mean, we got a lot of the big stuff over here. It seems to me. Jesus Christ. It's true. Overconfidence is low in Insidious Killer. I did tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The numbers can absolutely work. Yes, yes. 100%. Oh, let's go. We got trolls. Get in there, boys. Is that a Saurian? No, it's a Stegodon. Just as just as terrible. What are you? Oh, the Shaman. Okay, Shaman, 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 Shaman. What is this? Source Warriors. Yes! Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, now run over here. <laughs> okay. Where are other shaman types? Okay, this Saurian is getting hosed. This Stegodon is getting hosed. Okay, this side is surprisingly doing better, but I think it's also partially because we're just lobbing explosives into the enemy over and over again. Yeah, I think that's what's really fucking you over here. Hey, Xanus! <laughs> 
Oh, this is this is just awful. Hey, please turn and face this. Destroy it. Th this is just turned into just absolute madness. Wait, is this? Oh, it's chariots. The teeth robbers. Go get them, chariots. You're, you're a man after my own heart, sir. <laughs> Kill these goddamn things. Okay, what other fresh units do we have that we can throw into the meat grinder? You know what? No, no, no. Go fisticuffs mode. Get get into these things, because they, they hate melee attacks. Hate them. These fucking stegodons, dude. Oh, baby. No, throw shit at this goddamn stegodon. These things, or this, whatever the hell this thing is. These things are goddamn terrible. What are you? I, I don't even know. There's too many goddamn things in here. Get in there and kill that. There's so much stuff happening over here. I, I just don't even know what's happening anymore. Are you throwing giant green snot balls? If so, that is wonderful and I love you. <laughs> no, no, no. What are you doing? Don't shoot over there. Are you crazy? Shoot these things. Shoot them. Gasp indeed, gasp indeed. I don't know how you became so separated, but alright. What are you, orc chariots? Perhaps? I can't really tell, there's just so much shit happening. Where are our heroes? They are fleeing. This is terrible. Oh, good. We still have more boys coming. I don't know. You're just, like, chucking giant balls of greenness? Is that what's happening? What is this? Goblins. Oh, good. Goblins, go throw yourselves at these very large things. Also, all of this. Kill this. I cannot believe that this side is actually winning. That just blows me away. Okay, focus your attacks on this, please. Trolls, I, I know you're getting beat up, but, like, you gotta deal. <laughs> you just you just have to deal for now. All this big shit's gotta go. Okay, do you have anything that will, that will regenerate hit points? No. Um, you're the war boss. I don't have any wizards left, huh? Fuck. I... Okay, you know what, Rock Lovers? Why don't you, if, if you can, come over here and set up there. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. You are you came in at what is not a great time. <laughs> this is all very bad. Oh, no. <laughs> They're all showing up at the worst friggin' time, man. Okay, all y'all need to get in here and attack. I'm just telling you. Because it, it's, it's the truth. I hate you flying scumbags. God, we have so many reinforcements coming in over here and not a lot in the other spots. You'd think it would be more evenly distributed. Oh, the Carnosaur. What are you? It's not like Pump Wagon. Kill that. <laughs> it's never, never. So, Scuba, that was actually uh, a friend of mine sent a donation to the Bail Project, and uh, that was what they said in the donations. So I was like, I can't not say it. 
And so I said it, and then now it has become part of the quote bot. <laughs> because, you know, why not? Okay, where uh, you were... I forget where the hell you were heading. Nowhere good. Um, you know, actually head out here. You've already abandoned your post, which I'm not terribly surprised by, if I'm being honest. What is this you're fighting? Temple Guard. Hey, uh... Help murder these scumbags, please. God, I hate these things. Okay, Th this this is probably going to be the thing that causes like the most problems for us in in the future. Wait, what what that was that? Causes damage to self. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't. Need, I also didn't know to do that. Um. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. Um. Ranged units that are here, please fire at this. Okay, so once we're done here, I know that side is kind of collapsed. We're going to turn around, and we're going to hopefully... My WAP power is... Oh, so it is. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Attack this. Make sure it cannot come back. Okay, thankfully we do have trolls here. And pump wagons. Yeah, just murder these guys. No, please don't go that way. Go go a different direction. Okay. Now, to attempt to set up some kind of battle line. <laughs> uh, is it even worth it? This is a good question, which I don't have the answer to. Um, hang on. Holy shit. Cavalry over here. Let's get our goblins over here. I just want to be able to organize our, our units a little. Uh, do I have any more boys? No. Just lots of goblins. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. Put more cav type things over here. You go with the shooties. You go with the melee. You go with the melee. Uh, you go over here. You go over here. Good lord, this is a shit ton of units. Okay. You honestly just retreat off the field. There's no point in you being here. Why can't I make you leave? I'm asking myself this question. Don't come back. Just go away. You have 700 hit points, for fuck's sake. Just leave. Leave and never come back. Okay. Okay. Harass. Go do that right now. You turn off melee mode and also harass. Is everybody moving? You better be. Oh, you. Why 
why can't I make you leave? I don't understand. <laughs> well, you know what? If you want to get into the fight, then let's let's put you over here. How's that? Yeah, exactly. At least they don't have time to set up a battle line either. The, the, the saving grace. God, that's a lot of fucking stegodons. Good lord. Wait. <sighs> I don't know how effective this is against big stuff, but we're going to give it a shot. No pun intended. Uh, this is looking a little scary. If I'm being totally straight with you. What the hell is this? They have an ancient salamander. Is that one of my units or is that one of their... Oh, God, no. Oh, it left. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so to me, this is simultaneously our strongest and weakest point because it is a point. Uh, and the Stegonauts are going to hit it pretty hard. They are not coming this way with too much. Well, actually, no, I take it back. They kind of are, aren't they? Are you still throwing stuff? If not, you should. Oh, fuck. I think I forgot you guys. Uh, Where are you? Okay, I really just want you for your leadership bonuses. That's it. God, these stegs. Not a fan of these things. Okay, break those right now. Trolls? You, you gotta fight. Okay, what is this? Ancient Stegodon. Oh, wonderful. Uh, oh, it's a general. Okay. Uh, more trolls. This is going to be a little rough. By a little, I mean like, oh god, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> I'm actually kind of thinking I should have you wade into combat. These Stegodons are going to be a nightmare. Chameleon Skinks, uh, and, oh god, more Chameleon Skinks, fuck. Hang on, you know what? All this, shoot here. You, come over here and we're going to try to sweep the flank a little with the trolls. Like, I think what really needs to happen right now is you need to get into this and stop it from doing damage. Oh, God damn it. They fucking frenzied. Of course they did. Of course they did. Who? You? Alright, well, um, why can't they toggle melee mode? Oh, no, because I don't have a choice. No, instead of that, why don't you give me a charge into this? Come on, change direction. Go. What's up with this? Oh, okay, the chariot's getting a little hosed. A again, it descends into just absolute madness. Okay. 
Okay, you know what, dude? I think you've got to get in there and fight. In fact, I want you to fight this. Run away. I don't want you to be in combat. Where are you? Fighting things? Good. God, all these big monsters are such a pain. Do I have anything else hanging around that needs to be in combat right now? Okay, I need the wagons to not engage the big stuff right now. I need them to help sweep the, the smaller enemies out of the way. That's going to be bad. I just I need you to get the big st or the small stuff out of the way so we can go and attack the big stuff. <laughs> it is definitely a, no a you know what. <laughs> it is it is a clusterfuck. I do not want you to get into the fight at all. All right, we got to slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. You. Agent Stegadon. No, kill that. If you can get to those skinks, do it. And you are running. No, you're, you're running kind of at my direction, though. The trolls are doing their job over here, I think. Except they're still fighting an Agent Stegadon, which totally blows. God, I hate these freaking monsters. And that feral carnosaur is also being a real pain in the butt. Okay, I need you to come back and start with the shooting. We don't have magic, then the big the best replacement in my opinion is explosive shooting. <laughs> If we had Doom Rockets, I would be... I, th I think you are correct, sir. Yeah, definitely. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm actually experiencing the bug right now where I can't get the Black Orc big bosses, which totally sucks. I hate these things. These fucking feral assholes. If if I could, believe me, I, that every army would have at least one. Kill this piece of shit. God, you're getting torn up, dude. No! Ah! Wait, are you unbreakable? Your leadership certainly never seems to go down. Oh, because of dulled senses. Oh, no. Wait, running? Shattered, but you're not. You shouldn't have morale. <sighs> you know it's going to be payback time. Shortly, it's going to be payback time. It's true. It's true. Uh, God damn. I mean, look at this. The destruction caused on both sides is kind of horrendous. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. I'm so surprised that all the big stuff has the hugest amount of kills. <laughs> God, I hate these things. Exactly, there's more lads where that came from. The lizards did not get away with this. Plus, I don't even think that's enough to actually destroy the armies. Oh, sorry, I gotta turn on the air conditioner. It's getting fucking warm in here. So, um, since we are still loading, I just want to take a moment to say uh, we are still raising money for the bail project, and uh, if you do want to donate, um, there is a link down below uh, with a big picture that says bail project, and you click on that, and it'll take you directly to the donation link. Um, if you don't know what the bail project is, uh, essentially, um, in the United States, there is a presumption of innocence when you're accused of a crime, and sometimes judges take the law into their own hands, essentially, and um, will... Put uh, post or not post bail, but they they will put the bail amount so high that the accused cannot possibly pay it because they are poor. And a lot of times they do this to people of color, which is even worse. Um, so the bail project seeks to alleviate some of that. Uh, so if you do want to donate, that is fantastic. If you can't, I understand. If you don't want to, that's up to you as well. Um, but if you can donate, it would be very much appreciated if you did. Uh, and that's it. That's that's the spiel. Well, we wait for the loading. <sighs> I don't think I actually had my third army in range to assist with this one. This is another thing that I is like very deceiving. Is the number of troops that they field versus the number that we field because so much of it is just this shit. <laughs> like one, two, three, four, five, six cards taken up with singular units. Curse you, you freaking scumbags. I do also want to point out that there are actually uh, two donation incentives for the Bail Project currently. Uh, one of which is um, for 50 bucks, you get to create an army in this Total War game and tell me what units you want in it and what you want to name all the units if you want. And then the other one is you immediately cause me to do something. 
<laughs> one soldier and it's just Tyrion. Ah, no! <laughs> it's destroyed. Oh, fuck. All right, hang on a second. Ah, shit. All right, so... Hang on. God damn it. Let me scroll up here. Right. Needs to be recreated. With what? With... General... Shaman... Uh, Savage Orc... Biggins... Savage Orc... Boar Boys... Actually, Biggins, those are Boar Boys. Sorry, just noting some stuff for myself here so I can recreate this army more effectively. Three wolf riders with bows. Lava spider. Normal spider. Two idols. Is the rest super squig? Oh no, two doom divas. Rest is super squigs. Okay, fucking goddamn. And then Thog Rat. Okay, this stuff's gonna replenish. Well, no, no, it's not. Never mind. Thog Rat needs what? I, uh. Thog Rat. Needs. Two goblins. One gob archer. One rock. Lava. One river troll. One swamp things. Okay. Notes done. <laughs> well, wait, she can come back, can't she? Because she's a general. Did I miss anything in here? I don't think so. The rest of this stuff is all reinforcements. Yeah. Well, I thought generals couldn't actually die. I thought they just got wounded and then would come back later. You're coming after me again, huh? That's not what I wanted. Oops. <laughs> Wait, I can take that off, can't I? No? Shit. Um, give it to you. Wait, damn it. No. Right, but she's a, she's a general. Shouldn't she just be able to come back? I thought generals just, like, came back, period, in a story. What does the terrain look like here? Oh fuck! <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna fight it because I feel like there is a possibility that we can come out of this on top. I mean, these things are fucked as hell. I think the biggest thing is we're gonna have to reserve our biggins. Yeah, we're gonna have to reserve our biggins. We do still have one rock lava at, for, at full power as well. Okay, I feel cool enough. Oh, fuck. All right, well, Kurai, I'm sorry. You died. <laughs> but you died how you lived, causing explosions. Which make me very happy. <sighs> ah, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. See, there's like there's some stuff that I remember, and there's some stuff I just can't remember for the freaking life of me, dude. Because I think Thograt is a named general, and he will be able to come back if he if he dies during this engagement. I'm so happy that we have our Goblin Shaman again, because I, I think that your debuffs are going to be extraordinarily important during this. 
I honestly think that that was part of what caused the other side to collapse was that we just we couldn't debuff the lizards enough. And essentially my plan is to hope that, well, not hope, but I'm going to try to draw the lizards into engaging us in a small area. And then I'm just going to debuff, 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 vortex, debuff, 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 vortex, debuff, debuff, vortex. And just dump all kinds of horrendous magic on these fools. You don't gamble with that. You don't gamble with those numbers. Okay. So what I want to... Freaking goddamn, you are screwed the hell up, dude. All right, what I want to do is essentially you are gabos. It's true. You're sacrificial. I'm sorry to tell you. No, no. God damn it. You're in reserve to go around and nab whatever big shit comes around. God damn it. place the wolf riders back here they're gonna run around to harass i know big surprise nobody saw that coming you're gonna stay over here and you're just gonna lob shit at people forever i also don't really think the spiders are very uh, very good or terribly necessary we're gonna use you to cover the flank a little because you're not really in the position to kind of do that uh why are you not up here? Alright, pump wagons, you go with the, the boys over there. And then you boys, you're going to kind of cover that flank a little. Is that everybody? Nope, that's not everybody. We got the t Rabas. Ooh, boy. Start the battle. What larger unit, you? Wait, are there Temple Guard? Spears, Spears, Warriors. I thought there were... Didn't you have Temple Guard? There you are. Fuck these guys up. <laughs> I bet it was memorable. Especially for the other side. It was like, what the hell is all this? I, I did kind of the same thing. I did not have that many wolf riders, though. But I did almost the same thing. Um, I had uh, a list that had just a horrendous number of, of wolf riders. And as you say, it was not good. <laughs> but it was interesting. At the very least. If you're actually coming for the Wolf Riders, I almost pity you. Almost. Okay. I really think what we want to try to do is, if we can, we're going to try to sweep one side. God, that is just so many big monsters. I hate this shit. I 
mean, if you want to come in here and get wrecked, that's your choice. What are you fighting? The, the goblins? Okay, you, you running? I think you might be. Okay, they are right on top of us. They're casting a thing at you, which is foolish. I don't know why you'd bother. <laughs> he is a rampage, and it's true. Oh no, you zap my goblins. Uh, what do we do? Wait, are you attacking? You're attacking my shaman, you fucking piece of garbage. Biggins, wreck this shit. Okay, the Vortex is at least doing a little bit of something. Um, they look like the majority of their forces are going to hit here, so I'm going to try to position these guys to counter. Along with you boys. You goblins. You goblins. Uh, where are the biggins? Biggins are somewhere. You guys are actually getting attacked right now, which is very annoying. Oh, I for totally forgot about you guys. Oops. I mean, you are wolf riders. I guess it's not like, you know... It's not... It, 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 I would say it's understandable to forget about you. Okay, I'm going to wait a little longer. Just a little bit. A little bit longer. Before we start debuffing the Christ out of these things. Just get out of here, you flying pieces of shit. 650, huh? Okay, where are you? You're right there. You're shooting at these things. You know what? That's actually still a totally okay thing for you to shoot at. This whole flank, I want you to wheel around. Ah! <laughs> Jesus, what is... Okay, fuck it. Good lord. <laughs> this is such a disaster. Okay. Oh, look. What is this? Cold ones? Hmm. All right. You know what? Just murder. I know I was going to have you guys do something else, but it's too late. What is them? What, what is this? Shoot us? Okay. Uh, I want all archers to back up. <sighs> oh, kill that. Kill that right now. Do not let it live. Go, Biggins. Go, 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 go. Okay, you're tearing this up pretty good. Give me a wah. Okay. Now. Drop this shit on the big boys. Make them garbage. Alright, I mean, you're dropping shit from the sky. That's fine.
What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get, get, get over here. Get over here. I think I might be hurting myself by shooting. But at the same time, I'm also like, I kind of need to, because otherwise, what else am I going to do? <laughs> Oh, he's not doing so great. Are you leaving? Get in there. Uh, okay, Shaman, don't get in there, but debuff. Debuff, debuff, debuff. God, there's just shit going on everywhere again. And they still have more garbage coming at us. Okay, hang on, hang on. What are you? Boys? Okay, line up. You guys still scrapping? You're not, I don't think. Go after the general, please. All right, Biggins, you got to get in there and fight that. In fact, everybody, fight that. Thograt is probably dead. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate, but true. Although a lot of these big things are probably dead, it looks like. Yeah, I think if we, if I had the um, the meal that gave us anti-large shooting instead of explosive shooting, we would have been much better off. But alas, I did not. <sighs> hmm. And somehow this very large fire spitting scumbag lizard has escaped destruction again. You probably need a lot more than that, right? Because it, it was like 1 million. No, it was like 10 million. Right? Wait. How many points do you have? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was It was like 10 million for beard shaven, not 200,000. 200,000 is way too little. <laughs> oh... You're climbing, you're climbing. There's no doubt. What, um, I know. It, it, the thing is, like, until I actually put it in there, I'm going to keep thinking it's higher than I said. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we said, you said that you can get like 1.2 thousand per stream. Ish, like 1.4. Let's see. 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million. It seems low. It's like 833 streams.
no, 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 no. This is not going to work like me. Well, I, then again, I don't you know if me trying to convince Moon to play Darkest Dungeon is going to work, but, you know, I keep... Basically, I view myself as the cap in her chat. <laughs> like, you know, what was it yesterday? She was like, oh, yeah, we're going to be doing... Uh, I forget what today. I think it was Sims. And uh, I was like, oh, so, uh, you know, I look forward to the Darkest Dungeon stream tomorrow. And she was like, what? No. <sighs> Alas. Alas. We will have to recreate that army. But don't even sit there and think I ain't coming for your ass. Don't even sit there and think I ain't coming for you. So let's see. Wounded, wounded, wounded. You raised your own settlement. Good job, buddy. Oh, God. More beasties. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hang on. So, Cap, I don't know if I can actually change. or Not change, but uh, I don't know if I can actually, um, like, in the middle of... How can I put it? I don't know if I can change that stuff. Like, if I can give you more chat points individually. But let me just say this. If I, if, if I find out that I can, and you get her to play Darkest Dungeon, I will give you more points. Without a doubt. There is no doubt in my mind I will give you more points. What is in this garbage army? Oh, my God. All right. You know what? I hope you intercept this army. Do it. Yes. You didn't. You coward. You goddamn coward. You just save it to a sticky note. <laughs> All right, recruit lord. We lost a a uh, an orc war boss. Why would I recruit somebody at level eight when I could recruit somebody at level twelve? We got we got shit to recruit, boys. We got shit to recruit. God damn. Oh no, it was the gigantic spider, not you, huh? All right, all right, all right. I don't really want to recruit you right now. I think we're gonna go. This is gonna be a little funky. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. No, a a a a. And we want boar boys of various kinds. You know what? I'm actually kind of thinking, like, just get boar boy biggins. You don't really need the regular boar boys right now. And then, I, I'm thinking you might just end up being super heavy infantry. We can put four more infantry units in here. Rather, just four more units. I, I'm kind of thinking, like, I want this to be a fairly aggressive army that just charges in and does a lot of damage. So that means that to fill in the ranks, we're going to want Savage Orc boys. Okay. So you're going to be ready in about six turns. That's fine. What the hell is causing me to not move very far? Oh, it's Guacmole. All right, now it said sack or raise. Sack it. That's one. Now, a two. Oh. 
All right, we'll occupy it. I was really hoping we could just like steamroll that and and you know explode it. Hmm. Alright, we can come back from this, no problem. This is only a minor setback that we lost two armies. You're so close. No, you're not. What am I talking about? You're not so close. You're actually very far away. Never mind. I said nothing. <laughs> nothing was said. You can prove nothing. Really? That does seem kind of strange. I wonder why. Maybe it's because there's just like more training that needs to go along with that. I'm not sure. Definitely come down here and hinder replenishments. I want both these armies to be just as hosed as they are right now when these two get there. Failure? Oh, no. We don't have a meal. Okay, so let's get ready to make our goblins... Very good at killing big things. So we want this. Where's the thing that gave our... There was something that gave our goblins... Frenzy. Physical resistance 12% might be really good, though. Friends of your goblin and not goblin units. I've already made this once, but I... I well, okay, no, no. I actually don't need that as one of the main ingredients. Let's make something else. Nope. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, if I had Bugmans in there. No. Wait, Bugmans is... Okay, so we need a red and an orange? Okay, let, let's try that. We'll do red-orange. <laughs> There it is. Okay. And now I want this. Okay. Start cooking. Flash bomb. Okay. I think that's a good setup for countering lizards. Let's see. Need one year of experience or 18 credits from an accredited school. Be 21 at the time I would be accepted. Need to be fit. Have driver's license for security. At least 21 years uh, old or not yet 60 in the U.S. Uh, oh, and U.S. citizen for consular, economic, management, political, or politic, uh, public, yeah, public diplomacy officers. Hmm. I, if I had to guess, it would just be something along the lines of, like, security guards need... Like, if you're going in there as one of these other people, 
you don't need to know like a lot of the laws and stuff that kind of govern some of these things. Whereas if you are, wait, why did I send you out here? Oh, you were the guy that was over here, right? Um, whereas if you are, like, if you're working a desk job, you don't necessarily need to know all that stuff. Like, I don't know. It, it's all just guesswork on my part. You chicken shits. Teclas, can you just, like, not flee before me for just a moment? You'd rather be pew pew? You were pretty fucked up, weren't you? Yes, you were. What do I have here? Not enough. <sighs> oh, running away again, are we? So you're probably going to go after what, Itza? I mean, good luck. If you want to go after Itza, good luck. You're probably going after Zol. Or Z Zodal? Whatever it's called. It's not going to be a very uh, good fight for us. Um... Ooh. No contest, eh? Plus leadership. I mean, I might as well give it to you guys. Just make you, like, nearly indestructible. Since it was a lizard settlement, I didn't really care to do anything else to it. If it was high off sediment, I would have wanted to sack it so that we could get closer to our goal. Okay. I'm going to break that siege. Mark my words. Okay. It makes... I was going to say, I'm going to try to recruit something there, but it makes sense that you can't. Um, what was your deal? Ah, okay. You're just running away because you can't actually fight this army. That makes sense. Okay, why don't you come down here and join these these boys? I'm hoping that in a few turns we'll be able to launch another WA. No, no, no. Do not let this replenish. Excellent. So I'm just curious here. What do you guys like to have for snack foods, like around the house? Like, what is your favorite go-to snack? Wow. So I was just thinking about that today. Like, I have a couple. I'm a really big fan of banana chips and dried mangoes. And then also, um, from time to time, like, a little bit of yogurt and uh, some granola. Because, like, I, I mean, I know there's, like, the jokes about granola-eating people. But, like, it's actually very fatty and delicious. Oh, popcorn and cheese and crackers are also very, very good. Ah, oh, we're probably going to take a lot of casualties fighting you, huh? It, it just makes more sense to do this, I think. And plus, it's not like I really care about these settlements. Good, burn it. Burn it to the ground. 
I'm really not too uh, too upset about it. If I'm being totally honest with you. Do you have a particular kind of cheese that you prefer, like cheese and cracker? Oh. Yes. Where is our goblin? Where is our goblin? There he is. Wait. Did we have another one? Over here somewhere? No? Right. You got to go talk to this person. Where was our shaman? Oh. I love her. It's crackers. Well, not this time, but eventually. Eventually, it will indeed squish the life out of him. I don't care if we're tired when we get there. Actually, this is going to be wonderful, because now I'm going to break the siege, and you're going to try to run. Wait, what? I don't get to get you as reinforcements? Maybe it's because you guys ran here? Oh, now you're running. Wait, where'd the... Oh, there you are. But now you're replenishing, too. The tribe's ready. <sighs> you bunch of weenies. He's just going to run away until he's all replenished. That scum. Let's go. Get you a wyvern, dude. Why is this killing me? Jungle. Jungle. Why is this jungle worse? Oh, due to an enemy right. Ah, so you're making all of your territory cause annoying garbage, are you? You're a real piece of shit. Okay. In that case, we're just going to line up at the border and wait. And then we're just going to steamroll it so it's not your territory anymore. Yeah. Actually, I think we have... Do we have to keep this? I think we have to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, we have to keep it. Okay. Let's get oh, you've come this way, have you? Cool. I'll chase it away. That's fine. I'm down with that. I'm fine with chasing you around. Just a little bit. Occupy it. Do it. Oh no, you're just gonna sack it, huh? Bunch of freaking cowards. I don't like that they actually get to move afterwards, too. Like, the AI seems to get a lot of concessions made for it. Can I catch you? Fuck. Please. I want to kill that lizard. Yeah. Where'd he go? What the hell? Where did both of them go? Go kill him. Yeah. 77% chance, that's a good one. Go get him.
Just pitiful. Alright, get those squid caves. Get some more fortifications up. Uh, it's going to be a little while before you replenish, which is unfortunate, but that's that's okay. We're not too terribly concerned. Are you going to attack Itza at some point, or are you just going to run around? No. You just seem to be running around. Is okay. So, don't you know how you can tell if the Sword of Cain is sitting somewhere? Eh, hey, it's alright. It'll be fine. Because seriously, if I can get the Sword of Cain, I'll be very happy. Okay. Yeah, if other races can get the sword, that would be hilarious. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, no. We can totally get Thograt. We can totally bring Thograt over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So here. Recruit. Dog rat. Happy to help. Run in. Boss of them night goblins. Okay, I think you're actually pretty good with what you got. <laughs> exactly, dude. Dude, I, I would love it if just some troll picked up the, the Sword of Cain was like, yeah, it's alright. Why can't you... Oh, you can Okay, we're alright. You gotta, you gotta go... Wait, but you have, like, a big bonus towards... Goblins, right? Bonus ammo... I thought you had, like, a crazy lord effect on goblins. Jesus Christ. Hang on. Big thinking. Oh, that's, that's Rachnik. Where's Rachnik? Is that somebody... Is that one of you boys up here? It's salty. It's Gorguts. Grom. Amelie. There's Rachnik. Okay. So right, you're just you're just a super commandy boy. Doesn't really matter what I give you. Um I do want things like rogue idols though. Jeez, what the fuck did I have for you? Rock Lava's trolls. Okay. Uh I can't actually build any artillery right now. I think I'm actually going to do global recruitment when the time is right, rather when the time comes. Alright, 
There you are. Come here, buddy. I want to talk to you about all the shit you did. If I talk to you, I mean punch you in the face. Like a lot. Wait, is your... Oh, that's not your territory. Ooh. Wait. Oh, I guess I didn't really have the range to attack. I thought I did. Oh, well. Alright, how far along are you? You have two turns left until you're all set. Alright. Kill him. Please. God damn it. 77% chance and you can't seem to do it. I don't know what to do with you, man. I don't know what to do with you. Use me. Oh my god, I have so much money. I've already got boar meat. Eh, it just takes stuff. Just sit there, please. <laughs> you goddamn jerk. <sighs> oh, no. Well, shit. Oh, we still got a Skaven clan uh, lurking around somewhere. Because the lore master has just uh, declared war on Clan Rictus. Wait, we're not at war with you? Really? No, not big thinking. Oh boy. Oh boy. So the Confederation has caused us... You certainly don't like us. You certainly don't like us. I'm the boss. The great rain flows. Get this guy out of here. I don't care if it pisses him off. Finally. I mean, th this dude's gonna declare war on us at some point anyway. So I might as well start smacking him around right now. Weakening his bits. Do I just want to attack this fucker right now? Wait, what what strength rank are you? Five. Okay. I mean, the nice part about this is that now I can turn my attention fully towards the high elves. And, and, the dwarves. For now. It's not going to stay that way. But at least for now, we can turn our attention towards them. Uh, Alright, you have one more turn. Alright, we got to build Rachnik's army. Right, Ra Rachnik? No, th uh, uh, Thograt. Thograt. Oh. Oh, I want to recruit you so badly. Hopefully we'll get you again so I can dump you guys into this army. 
Um, although, wait a minute. No, I think that this one was not like that. Hmm. Oh yes. Please. Well, we need we need big shit too. So maybe what I should do instead. You know what? Why don't we take a bunch of fanatics? And then... Boy, no. Kurai's army was the one that had... Let's see... River Trolls, Swamp... F okay, right. So Thalgrass should have the Swamp Fangs and River Trolls. And Kurai should be the one that has all the all the big stompy bits. So, uh, for now, I would like for you to get this. Um, then we're going to have Swamp Fangs. And then what? Hmm. What else do I want? Right, the Spore Splode and Snotlings are also going to be a good one for this, I think. This army's not going to be terribly mobile, and that's okay. So if we're mostly going to be on the defense, I think what honestly makes the most sense is a shit ton of Night Goblin Archers. Yeah. I think that's what makes a lot of sense. For an immobile army, I think that's the way to go. Okay. Kill this. <laughs> Second. And then occupy. <sighs> Man. Doesn't really get any better than slapping elves around. Where where else are they? They got stuff like where? Okay, so they are over this way and over here. All right, so I think we want to concentrate our forces in this area and then push up this way. Yeah. All right, so let's start moving our boys that way. Hello? Clickies. Thank you. I never get to play Ogre Kingdoms, but from all accounts, like, just looking at them, they seem like that kind of army. I mean, they have ogres carrying cannons. <laughs> I can't imagine they're an extraordinarily serious army. Plus, just judging from, like, you know, Games Workshop's kind of normal thing with big stompy boys, they don't really seem like the kind of army that would be overly uh overly concerned with themselves, if you know what I mean. Alright, so all y'all are still fine. Okay. Now over here, since we have an absolute crap ton of money. It's a technical measurement there. A crap ton. 
Do we need squigs? Yeah, why not? And, uh... Shaman? Yeah. Let's beef up our shaman numbers. Whoa. Trolls? Nah, let's go with this. You know, I just figured we got all this cash, we might as well try to spend as much of it as possible. Because otherwise it's not doing us any good. It's not like we earn an interest now, you know? Okay, so this is what? Black Orc Forge. Hmm. Definitely going to want to look into that. Okay, because that's because that location has iron. I'll try to remember that for next turn. Since we are still making a horrendous amount of money. And yeah, Scuba, I, I definitely also, like, I am also kind of hoping that Ogre Kingdoms makes it into the next... Total War game, or the next Total War Warhammer game. Um, this, what is it? I think right now people are thinking that it's going to be like Ogre Kingdoms, Demons, Chaos Dwarves. It's got to be something else in there that I'm forgetting. There's got to be. There's got to be something else in there I'm forgetting. Okay. I mean, if you ask me, this was a pretty successful little assault we had here. Well, I say little, but, you know, we, we, we kicked their teeth in pretty good. What the hell are you doing over here? You better not be coming over here to take this territory back. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I, I feel like I heard somewhere that people were saying that uh, Chaos Dwarves were going to be the next thing, but maybe not. Okay, so really we got to take this and then cut across into here. So that's fine. Let's do that. Maybe I, actually, wait. Maybe I'm confusing them with the demons? Kicked their teeth in, but lost the foot. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 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 fine. The the foot is the foot is is still very much around. Just you know, we had to take a second to get a couple toes back. That's all. I mean, it's actually, to, to be fair, so far the elves have not done any real damage to any of our armies or our territories. It's only been the lizards. The lizards are the only ones that have caused any kind of damage that could be considered significant. Oh, chaos in general is the focus? Okay. I don't. I was just thinking, like, could it be said that any of the that like any one particular flavor of faction was the focus in any of the other Total War games? I don't think so. Although I suppose you could say, like, for the first one, it was a lot of the kind of starter set armies. If that makes sense. Because, like, I remember when Night Goblins and uh, High Elves were one of the starter set armies, and or, or were the starter set armies, and then, like, uh, let's see, did get a new roster in t uh, Timurkan, the Throne of Chaos, and they never really disappeared from the lore, unlike some of the other races, some which are now in Total War Warhammer. Hmm. Well, like, w which ones are you talking about? 
deal port, the ones that have kind of like disappeared and then come come back in this. Yeah, you're good. Um, I should definitely be upgrading units if we can. Yeah. <laughs> I still love that it's blinkers. Oh, no, I screwed up. I wanted scrap saddles. Damn it. Can I change it? Fuck. I mean, come on. Oh, frick. Well, we spent all our scrap, so that's that. Whew. Oh, 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 I see, I see, okay. That, oh, all right, I thought there was, like, specific races that I just wasn't thinking of. Um, but yeah, I, actually, I thought that the uh, uh, Vampire Coast was actually some... What? Is there really an ambush? Um, I thought the Vampire Coast was actually just something that... Uh, Creative Assembly just kind of created. I, did, I didn't know that they actually had, you know, real, honest to God, like a, a real presence in the Warhammer world, like at all. Hulk, send me to battle. Get up. All right. Alright, let's go underways for this turn. Uh, can you not? Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's just a lot of terrain here that's going to prevent us from moving terribly far, so I think underways is probably the better way to go for most of it. Yeah. I mean, so, like, I definitely see where you're coming from, Steve, because the, the vampire armies, from what I recall, were very nasty in melee, like, mostly the whites. Like, wh whites being the biggest kind of nasty, non-monstrous thing that they had. So it was like... I think they had death blow or something like that, where if you rolled a six on your attack roll, it just murdered a unit. Or a, a, a model. Like, it, it was like no save, you're just dead. Unless you had ward saves. Two turns, we get this freaking lizard thing, which is ridiculous. It gives our entire faction physical resist. So it makes you think, like, after you have all your research done, why would you want anything else? Whew. Oh, shit. Who are you? Oh. Hey, we got some more boys. Wait, what? Oh, oh, well, that's Guacamole. Got it. What you want? 
Don't give me that shit. You should not be here. Just the way the elves speak, they seem like the kind of people to me that would think saying like, mm, the orcs, they don't even have duvet covers. They would actually think that that's an insult. Not understanding that like what they're saying is ridiculous. It just, it, you get what I'm you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like they're just they're just absolutely so incredibly full of themselves. Vampire Coast as an army was written about and introduced through White Dwarf articles. Uh, Luther Harkin was the only lord, and I think he even appeared in the end times. Uh, Noctilus and Arnessa were from the Dreadfleet board game that uh, focused on naval combat between flagships. Uh, let's see, just from the original. Okay. What? Wait. The Dreadfleet? Dreadfleet board game? I need to look into this because the only board game that I remember... Well, actually, I guess it wasn't technically a board game. It was a miniatures game. Um, that Games Workshop had for naval combat was Man of War. And a bunch of my friends and I had planned on starting Man of War fleets. And then it just never really surfaced. Because, for one, we couldn't actually find a book. Alright, you guys got some roads you can use now, so let's go. Are you... You're done. Maybe you should go with Gouger. Yeah, I'll send you in with Gouger. And then maybe we'll come over here and mess with the Caverns of the Great Bad and all that crap. Ah, okay. That actually sounds a little bit more enjoyable, I think. That sounds like a little closer to kind of a War Machine vibe. Where, like, it's characters fighting each other rather than factions. I think this is where we're going to gain our, our Wabbits. I think this is the last turn. So all of our, our Wa armies are going to start de uh, uh, depleting. Oh, that sucks. God damn it. What's this? Oh, please. Oh, please do. What is it? You you chose this? Or wait. No, we're we're intercepting you. Okay, that's good. I mean, I'm not going to It's just it's not worth it. To go through all the loading just for that. Alright. So we're at least in the good parts here. Go get him, boys. Stop this Lovely lo All right, salty. Let's see here. Deadly onslaught is definitely going to be your thing. 
So what factions that they have in Dreadfleet, then? He says as if orcs are the only ones that matter, because they are the only ones that matter. But, you know, seriously, though, like, what, the, what, what factions did they have? The tribe's ready. Like, did they have Chaos? Did they have... I'm assuming they probably had elves. Now they'll see. On the way. You talk, take over. Cork, sever to bow. Why this thing? Yes. Uh, no, no, hang on. Stand next to this dude. You guys are going to go together. I think I'm going to send you at the elves, and then the rest of this is going to hit the dwarves. Then we'll deal with the lizards. I want to know who did the voiceovers for the orcs and the goblins in this game. It was like, I would love to get in contact with them and maybe, like, I don't know, pay them to do some voice lines for the stream. That would be so good. Their captains representing Vampire Counts, Empire, Sartosa, Dwarves, Chaos Dwarves, Tomb Kings, High Elves, Skaven, and Araby. Which, which one is Araby? Well, I don't know if Cetra would really go on the ocean. He'd probably send somebody else to go do that. I do wonder what their ships would look like. Like, if their ships were actually just big old, like, constructs that they kind of brought to life. The fuck? Wait, I'm at war with you? Just fucking when? Sure. Oh, their demands. They want me to pay them 5000 how about this? I don't pay you anything. And then you pay me 5000 How's that, asshat? Cool. If you actually wanted peace, you could just ask. Ah! It's the little kitty boys. <laughs> Of course, you would go. I, I'm sure that's how he sees it. Oh, okay. So it was like one of those river boats. But the Ubachab is kind of pushing it along. I, I do know that's not how it's pronounced, but that's just, I don't know. That was always a joke between my friends and I. Of, that's, of, of the, you know, that's how you're supposed to pronounce the name. Is this a big place? No. We already took the big place. Just terrible. Just terrible. Sack it. Now you take it. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Okay. How many more elf settlements do we have to blow up? Four. Four more. I'm really not that far away in the grand scheme of things here. Can I get across? I can. But should I? You need help. Going on the ground. 
divine belly. Yeah, we're just gonna bring everybody across that we can. God, that is a lot of orcs. <laughs> that is a shit ton of orcs. That would be kind of cool, though, if Tomb Kings actually had ships that were, like, just big animated constructs. That That's rad as hell. And actually, uh, when we were talking about playing Man of War, that's one of the reasons I wanted to play Dwarves is because they had submarines. I mean, obviously I would have also been playing the boys, because why would you play something else? Because, like, in, in BFG, I played orcs. And I had some Imperials, but that's because they came with the starter set. I was like, you know, why not? I have them. Might as well use them. What do you want? But, man, oh, I loved orcs in BFG. The only faction I came up against that gave me any trouble, until I kind of, like, thought about it a little was the Necrons. Everything else was no problem at all. Necrons were the only ones that had like some shit that really fucked me up when I was playing when I was playing orcs in, in BFG. But uh, the the key that I found was because um, my buddy my buddy Pat was the one that was playing Necrons and his strategy was usually just to, like fly right through my my fleet and just burn everything with all the lance attacks that he has. No. Um, and, uh, so, I think it was, like, after the fifth time that I played him, I was like, I just cannot figure out how the fuck to beat him. Because, if I'm right, like, their weapons could shoot 360 or something like that. It was just, like, Necrons were insane. Uh, but, uh, eventually when I thought about it, I was like, why am I not boarding his ships when he tries to fly past me? And that turned out to be the key. The second I boarded his ships, it was all over. Like, I think one of his cruisers made it out, and all the rest just got completely annihilated. Because, you know, you got machine boys against orcs. <laughs> and with, with mega knobs. Like, it, it was really just no contest at all. The fuck? Oh, you're blocking the way. God damn it. In my efforts to get you closer, you're blocking the way. That's alright. You guys can come over here. Indeed, crumpin' skulls is what they do. <laughs> Close victory, my butt. Okay, ever closer to that goal. What is this? Hmm. Do you take me for a wazak? Right, I had to head back here to defend myself against you assholes. Because guaranteed you guys are going to come over here and try to kill me. Or at least take my stuff. Because it is my stuff, make no mistake. It's not yours, it's mine. It's always been mine. I mean, did you not hear the part where I said the whole world's going to be Grom's? 98%? Oh, you're level 1. No wonder. See ya. Alright. Ah.
So if you guys had to pick a favorite green skin character, who would it be? Because I know who mine are, but I don't know, I don't think I know who any of yours are. Aside from, I think, Tealport. I think I know who Tealport's is. But I could also be wrong. All right, did you guys retreat? Yeah, you... Wait, did you retreat? No, you're heading towards my shit over here, you bunch of dicks. I don't think so. Ugh, what is this? Miners? No, quarrelers of gray weapons. Are these the miners that have explosives? No. I love how tiny their charge bonus is. Bright and powerful war boss. No mercy. Just occupy it. Scar yeah, exactly who I thought, Scarsnick. Icky Claw is not a green skin. <laughs> Cap. If you must pick a shooty boy, then I would say it's probably Wurzag, right? He's green enough. But he's not a green skin. Big as an orc. Orc Let's see if we can blitz in here and take this. That's crazy. Shit. <laughs> Just take it, brother. Just take it. You got no more territories, but uh, dude, you got no more territories. I know what you're gonna do. Oh, let's go. Immortality. Hmm. So I can't pass either of you by. But, if I come over here, both of these armies should be able to just sit there. And hopefully, you know, they get all upset and then come and attack me and just waste all their boys on us. Uh, let's see. Grimgore Ironhide was my first Lord model and he's great, but I love Scarsnick and his Trixie traps. Oh, yeah. And so, um, I think Gr like for me, it's between Grim and Wurzag. I just, I love the two of them. Grimgore is... Uh, there's just, I don't know, man. There's something about him. I, I think it's partially the fact that like in the lore... He basically beats the shit out of Archeon. Or Archeon, however it's supposed to be pronounced. Me. And then Archeon has to introduce a third combatant, aka the demon in his sword, in order to beat Grimm. It's like, th there's something about that. Like, that Grimm is just, like, such a beast. That this dude basically has to call upon the demon in his sword to save him. That Grimm actually was truly the best combatant in the old world. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Oh, wait, are we almost out of uh, our current meal? And actually, I'm thinking that our current... Well, I think our current meal isn't exactly the greatest for going after high elves. Then again, I mean... The bonus versus large will be nice again... What is this? Oh, right, you guys are suffering attrition because the... Yeah. Well, I mean, what do I expect? Oh, you're raising your arms in victory, are you? Oh, man. What a great victory that was, going after an undefended town. Man, you must be so proud. 
Where'd that other stinky dwarf go? Man, it's gonna suck when you lose that in just like two seconds here. You know what? I actually just want to fight this battle. I really want to fight this battle. Yeah. God, that is a lot of savage boys. Holy shit, that is a lot of savage boys. What's it going to look like? Let's go, dude. I I want to I want to smash some stunties. It's been a while, and I want to mash some of these boys into the dirt. Eighty? Oh, that's allies. Okay, I was like, there's no way that that force is eighty dudes. I love the the differences here. We've got naked orcs, <laughs> and then the most heavily armored boys that you can get. I just have to say, I do really like Skarsnick. Like, I don't think there's a single green skin character that I don't like. Because they all kind of have their thing. And they're all really interesting. I guess, like, for me, I just never found a lot of the other lords, like, super terribly interesting. I'm sure they would be if I started reading about them. But, like, just looking at them, I was like, I don't care about these guys. Like, all the elves just look all fancy and stuff. Although, I guess Malekith is... I do kind of like Malekith, even though I think he's a, a whiny little boy. <laughs> um, but, I mean, at least, I don't know, he, th like, he at least seems like an interesting character. Alright, you guys are going to form the very first attack wave, followed by uh, the biggins. Although, are you fanatics? No, you're just regular goblins, or regular... Night Goblins. Well, not, not regular Night Goblins. You have armor centering attacks, which is pretty sick. Uh, and the Black Orcs will make up the reserve. You boys are going to harass, harass, harass. Uh, harassing there is not such a great idea, is it? No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go here. You'll begin with the shoots. You guys cause fear, right? Yeah. And you've also got, uh, what is this? Fire resistance, right. Awesome. You can go with the Boar Boy Biggins. You guys are kind of like, make up a flank over here. The Hydra, I think, right there is fine. Squig Hoppers, uh, you're, you're also going to go over here, I believe. Yeah. You are on a boar. I'm going to have you join these boys. And then let's uh, let's group this all up. Yeah. Okay. Where is their artillery? They did have some, didn't they? What is this? Support. Not what I'm looking for. Ah, there they are. There's the bolt throwers. Um. You know what? You boys just kind of move around this way and just harass, harass, harass. All right. So, first off, Savage Orcs. Actually, everybody here, just move in formation. Yeah. Go. Fire into this mass, please. Oh, 
All right, first off, you guys are going to basically kind of harry the flanks and try to get them to turn. And you boys are just going to smash right into something. I don't know what, but you're going to smash into something. And very hard. All right, this is what we got for reinforcements. Okay, we, st we still have reinforcements coming. And honestly, I think j this giant train of boys is just going to keep coming in and, and just go at this. Okay, you boys, I actually want you to come over here and help collapse that. You savage orc biggins go in there. You boys go there. You boys go into here. All right, squig hoppers and wolves go into that, and then you guys hit this. And you can give this a fire barf. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Go get him, boys. All right, how are these boys holding up? Not, not, not super great. Why don't you all jump back a bit? Where's the squig hoppers? Yeah, make make a dwarf sandwich over here. So no, you guys can keep shooting at that. Okay, you guys are basically broken, and you're also pretty much dead. It's a little bit more damage. Dead? Soon? Maybe? Dead? Dead? Maybe? One more hit to do it, I would hope. Come on. Damn this one asshole! Fine, you're you're basically dead. Just line up over here. You're gonna you're gonna charge in. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Yep, squig hoppers are insanely fast. Oh, I didn't even put you in a combo. What the hell am I doing? And so are the wolf riders. Wolf riders are unbelievably fast in some cases. Okay, you should stop shooting because you might hit your own boys. Charge into this. Oh my god, these poor dwarves. Oh, trolls! Help out over here, please. <laughs> I've never seen that attack that's so good. He's just yelling at them. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> Alright, some Savage Orc boys took some hits. It's not a big deal. Considering the massive casualties we caused to the dwarves, I think we're good. Alright, so I do want to take this opportunity while we are loading to mention again that we are still uh, raising money for the bail project. And if you do want to donate, uh, there's a link down below uh, the stream in the... Uh, the Twitch stream panels. Uh, the direct link for donations is the big picture that says Bail Project. Um, we do have two incentives, one of which is uh, for 25 bucks, you basically just get to tell me something to do on the stream, and I do it immediately, uh, or at least once, once I am able. Like, if you told me right now to send an army into the ocean, then I couldn't because, you know, we're loading. But it's the second I am able to, I will do it. 
Uh, and then the other is for 50 bucks, you get to build an army in the game and name everything you want in the army and actually tell me what you want in it. Uh, yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Sanus, are you generally like a strategy game player, or do you more... Um... For 50 bucks, would I take the bandana off? If you told me to, and you wanted to redeem the 25 bucks twice, yeah, that works. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the game, the thing that I do. Although, obviously, not that I really need to tell you guys this, but if anybody else is watching and they're like, oh, I'm going to make him say a bad word. Like, okay, first off, I swear like a sailor anyway. But second, there's some words that I just will not say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's not going to happen. But if if you're like, disband this army, if you pay the 25 bucks, man, I'll do it. curse you captain yes yes i would <laughs> give me another one cap <laughs> kurai you have doomed me forever are you still in the chat you sneaky elf she's not she snuck off Even when you don't specify, it just brings that one up anyway. <laughs> it's like it knows. It's like it knows. There we go. <laughs> hmm? Who the hell is this? What the fuck? Oh, for Christ's sake. All right, have a good night, Cap. Oh, my God. What the fuck? This is a terrible army. This is an absolutely horrendous army. Uh... Yeah, why don't you gain some XP off of this thing? Where are you at? There you are. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. There was that other dwarf army running around, but there weren't that many dudes in it. Yeah, there you are. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Isn't that like a smith? Are you are you gaslighting, dude? What does Oginek do you want? I suppose I might help. Let me think about it. No! Oh, what do you want? All right. How many elf territories are there over here? Do we get to know? There looks like there are three. Maybe one more after that. That's not going to eliminate the faction. But I think it will do some pretty serious damage. Their ability to really kind of do anything, you know? Man, we have a lot of wah power. Like, we're, I think we're going to gain another wah pretty fast. Uh, let's send you after... Wait a minute. Ah. What? 100%. <laughs> I don't know why he's T-posing, but I'm glad he killed that elf. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh, of course you're raiding. Of course you're raiding. You just can't do anything else. Because you know what'll happen. There he is. Alright, well, we're going to chase you down and kill you. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're, you're dead. Every day is a good day to raid, indeed. It just, it just, it, sometimes it is annoying, though, because it's like, the AI just has to figure something else, uh, something out to do, and so it just decides to be annoying. Which, I mean, if I was a player in the game, and like, I was on my last legs, I'd probably also do something very irritating to the enemy who was beating me. <laughs> Especially if he was an elf. All right. God, we have so much money. Uh, exactly. Never trust an elf. Gimli was correct. Yeah, exactly. Harass as hard as you can before you go out. It's like the creed of the the goblin wolf riders. Uh, what do I want out of here? Yeah, let's grab that. Why not? What other territories can do upgrades? Nobody over here? Alright, well what about over this way? Anybody? Am I just saving a horrendous amount of money? Do I need to start barfing out more armies? I'm starting to think that that's the case. Because I am making a stupid amount of money right now. Yeah, I think the time has come, man. I think we just got to start making, like, tons more boys. Alright, are there any more... Sm ah, yes, another smelly up for you to kill. Go get him. 49. Go t -pose. Get him. Well, he gained some XP. So, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, wait, didn't I have an army that was being built uh, down here? There you are. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's send you off towards this smelly dwarf. Yeah, money money is one of the big factors. The, the thing is, like, against the AI, the AI doesn't really need money, per se. Oh my god, look at all that scrap. Holy shit. Um, because it's able to just, like, build armies kind of whenever the hell it wants. Um, and part of that is just, like, a concession to the game. Because, you know, the AI is a computer, so it's not really all that smart. In terms of, like, strategic stuff. I know I'm also saying that it's not very smart about something that can, you know, beat me at math. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't follow the same rules as you do. Which sometimes is a little frustrating, but, like, you know, like against Gorok or something. Where the AI can just, like, summon armies out of freaking nowhere, you know? But, you know, it's just like, it's not a big deal. Could be worse. Oh, it's you. All right. Uh, let's do block army. Why not? Okay. After this turn, I got to cook. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, it's it just more that, like, when paired with some of the factions, like Lizardmen, it becomes 
especially horrifying. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so, wow. All right. Well, you know what? That's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, you moved right next to the war boss. Goodbye. You killed nothing. I hope you're happy. Is the faction eliminated now? No, you don't get to run. You don't understand. You don't understand. Your little, like, fellowship of the dwarves over there is no good. Okay, that is a very large place. We may need to just surround. Yep, we're going to siege for now. Until we get another army in there. And then we'll kill it. Or like another two or three armies. How's that? Just absolutely overwhelming force. Uh, and then we'll have you guys kind of swing around this way for the golden ziggurat. You're done. Okay, we gotta sack it. So we get progress towards our, our quest. And then Grom, if you wouldn't mind taking it. Or you. Occupy. Thank you. All right, Emily, let's see here. Yeah, let's go Deadly Blade. How many more of these places do we have to sack? Two more. So, Mud Isles and you. What is our reward for this? Knowledge of exotic flavors. A secret recipe is revealed in Grom's recipe book. Okay. We do have to cook something else. What do we want to cook? What have we not made yet? We haven't made this. So we need something with... We need... What is it? Orange and blue. And we need ectoplasm. Okay, so... Orange. Spiky skin. Physical resistance. Let's make spiky skin goblins. What the hell? I certainly have not made that before. Uh... I think we still want bonuses versus large. And then we also need ectoplasm to turn this into the crab thing. Gross crab. Yeah, ghost crab royale. Uh. You g um. Okay. Goblins causing fear is kind of disgusting. Because that also means they're immune to fear. God, that is ridiculous. All of Grom's recipes are so insane. All right, bring your T-pose and ass over here and kill this man, please. All right. Who's this? Orc War Boss. All right. Uh, let's get you Deadly Onslaught. I, 
I mean, our public order is still fine. The amount that he's taking from us is kind of pathetic. So I'm not really all that worried about the financial damage that this raider guy is causing. It's more of an annoyance than anything else. I mean, like, if he was actually causing our people to start rebelling, then I'd be kind of annoyed. Let's go assassinate. That's true. You know what? I might as well. Uh, I'm probably just going to spawn an army of, like, all biggins. <laughs> He's got a lot of big shit, and I think that the biggins will be the best thing to take him out. Does anybody else have, like, any upgrades? Not really. Alright, let, let's just... Let's send this guy to the Shadow Realm. Level 22. I may just keep you around because you're level 22, and you can ride a wyvern immediately. And also become immortal immediately. Uh. And you're getting almost every single one of these abilities. Right off the bat. That's insane. Um, the boys are restless. Oh, we can recruit from here now. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it, the fact that he was able to get all those abilities right off the bat is kind of redonkulous. Uh, you needed the Swamp Fangs. Yes. Okay, actually, I think Nabar might become the new Kurai. Yeah, yeah. Now's the time. All right. So let's give you some very good armor. A very nice weapon. A very, very nice talisman. Um, You already caused fear and terror because you're on a wyvern. Crown of Command. What is the closest other strategy game to work? Man, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Um. Closest other game to Warhammer. Or strategy game to Warhammer. Well, to this one, it would be almost any of the other Total War games. Uh, to... I'm just going to give him a whole bunch of this shit. Uh, in terms of, like, Warhammer stuff, I I don't know. Hmm. That's an interesting question. If we want you. And you. And you. And you. And you, because you explode. Not, eh, do I want the t robbers? Yeah, we'll take the t robbers. Recruit all that. And then, if this is going to be Kurai's army, I know she wanted two of these guys. Uh, can we recruit big boys here? No. I mean, this is going to get stupid real fast. This is... You know what? Fuck it. This is our anti-lizards army. Yeah. If the Lizard Boys want to play that game, this is the game that they're going to play against. It's a shit ton of really horrible stuff. Yeah. So then what else do we want to make this really just horrible? She did also have a bunch of Super Squigs. The only problem with them is that they don't come back. We have to actually make a recipe in order for them to replenish. 
So I'm trying to wrap my uh, head around it since it's a turn-based for macro, but it's RTS for micro. Oh, uh, in that regard, I would say basically any of the Total War series. Um, oh, that! Oh my God, Teal Port! I haven't thought about that game in so long. That is actually oh, that, that game was awesome. Let's get some giants in here. And then, actually, no, one giant, one giant, one giant. And then maybe, like, some river trolls. Yeah. All right. So, in eight turns, <laughs> this army will be ready to attack you and make you feel the pain. Because I don't think, yeah, nothing in there is small. Everything in here is large. So, the, our, our Arachnorok spiders are going to have a field day. Man, I have not thought about that game in forever. I've got it on my shelf. Over there, somewhere. Uh, did we cook? We did cook. Okay. And what are we at for the wall? We're at 71. And we gain six, six rep passively every turn, which is kind of amazing. There's got to be another one that's kind of like this. Well, there's... Um, Dawn of War Soulstorm is a little bit like this in terms of that there's like a macro layer um, or like a... A strategy layer, and then the uh, kind of RTS layer. What is this? Yeah, whatever. We'll enter the war on, on your side. I mean, you're declaring war against one of these weirdos, so what do I care? All right. Uh, zoom in, please. I mean, their defenses are, like, the, the worst. Alright, go take that. In the meantime, I gotta level you up. Just one more level, dude. <laughs> Just one more. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just got a text from my mom, and I have no idea what the hell it's about. Because I don't think I got any of the previous texts. Alright. <laughs> Grom, your uh, way of looking at things is certainly unique. Actually, when I worked at Games Workshop, we were actually not working on, because I think the campaign actually did come out, um, but there was a thing that we were kind of working through um, that was eventually supposed to become like a big campaign book that was like Total War, sort of, in that, um, you know, you were going to have like requisition points that you would use to manufacture armies and like different uh, provinces would give you different things. It was going to be, I think the biggest issue with it was the fact that you would have, eventually have trouble keeping track of all the stuff that you were doing um, or like all the, all the resources you were getting. But uh, unfortunately our play testing didn't really get too far into it, but we were one of the groups that was selected, which was really awesome, but we just never really got a chance to really get into it, which was unfortunate. I was so excited because the spot that I was in uh, put me right up against uh, a Dark Elf player from another shop from uh, from Connecticut who was talking a lot of shit about goblins, and so I was like, all right, motherfucker, you want to talk shit about goblins? Here comes the fanatics, brother. <laughs> You're going to get a whole shit ton of fanatic coming at you. How's that? Twenty-nine? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, 
Oh, I know. A, uh, I meant to put a shaman in her army. God damn it. All right. Well, what can I use? What can I replace in her army with a shaman? Do I need to? I mean, she's got a lot of... No. No, no, no. Because if she's going, like, full big stompy monsters, she doesn't need a shaman. She's got big stompies already, so I think she's fine. She's basically going for anti-lizard tech. Just keep building up that XP, dude. So ridiculous. Actually, thank you, Steve, Scuba Steve, for giving me the uh, kind of idea to create the army in that fashion of just, like, all the big stompy monsters. Because... What is this? Oh, trying to damage buildings, are you? Uh, when you said, like, the only way to really take on the lizard boys with their big scary monsters is with big scary monsters of your own. I was like, you know what? You're right. And that's exactly how I'm going to try to handle this. It was a big scary monster of my, own, of my very own. Ugh. Oh, well, hey, at least you're somewhere else. That's like nowhere near me. Who is the closest goblin big boss? Probably the guy over here somewhere. There you are. Because the other one's busy harassing this freaking weirdo goblin. Hmm? Bad. No, no, no. She's not bad. Um, it's just that you have to interact with her with either an army or a hero. And so I'm sending the hero over here to interact with her. So she's certainly not bad. She's just, it's just a, you know, a weird kind of Thing in the game. Too tough. What do you mean too tough? You Sack it. Are making a mistake. An exotic recipe. Take it. That's the shit right there. That's the shit right there. Yeah, in general, I am ending up... Sent like, I can see why you would make that that assumption. Because uh, a lot of the things that I end up sending my armies after... Or not my armies, but my heroes after, it's to kill them. <laughs> or make them go away in some, in some fashion. Exactly, exactly. Because I remember when I was playing Icket Claw, like, our answer to lizard men, everything was like warp lightning cannons and rattling guns and Gisales. Like, those were the things I made to take down all the big, like, lizard critters and other annoying garbage that they would send our way. All right, so let's see what the secret recipe is. Uh, what? Elven foie gras. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> um. Okay. Alrighty. I think we're I think we're all set. Thanks so. though. I don't think Elvin Foie Gras is really something we're terribly interested in at the moment. Just I how would that You would have to like capture an elf and then like force feed it. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna stop thinking about it? I'm going to stop thinking about it. 
All right, has anybody not moved? <laughs> Shit, that old hag is back. Kill her. Uh... <laughs> well, yes, but also no. <laughs> Goblins are terrible people, it's true. But that's why they're goblins, right? <sighs> All right. Y'all are getting too big for your britches, if you ask me. Uh, so wait, let's see. The last thing I need to do... Uh... Oh boy. So, here's the thing. I think that eventually I'm going to have to rework Grom's army because it is kind of full of things that were... Not necessary, but, like, decent for me early on, and are not necessarily the greatest right now. Who else still needs to move? Anybody? Do I still have a goblin down here? No? Yeah, like, a lot of these armies have a lot of boys that I'm probably going to want to replace with, I don't know, like, biggins and black orcs. How far can you get? Right up there. Okay. Chariots rolling out. This is my land. This is my land. Start the war. I can't, dude. You don't have enough points. Keep using this man to generate XP, man. How far away are you? <sighs> okay. Still got some time. You got you got a lot of time left for that. Um, I'm also realizing how late it is. Uh. So. Let me go look at our rating options. Hmm. Well. So, okay, Charms rated us the other night. I think we're going to return the favor. Yes, yes. We're going to return the favor. Let's see. Yes, yes. All right. So, I'm going to I'm going to stop here. Um we're going to go raid OK Charms and uh I will be back on Thursday night to play some more Divinity Original Sin with Warlock, Peach, and Al. And I will still be doing the fundraising. Um, so I will see you all later. Have a good night, and let us raid. Let us raid this person. Yes, yes, everybody go. Yes, yes, here we go, here we go. Start the WA, boys.